Okay, so now we're going to be looking at, at the system of equivalent linear equations. So first, let me read the definition. Two systems of equations are equivalent if and only if they have the same set of solutions. So what does that mean? It means that you can rewrite a system in a different way by doing authorized operations and this will keep your uh, set of solutions unchanged. So what are the authorized operations? Well, you can first change the order of the equation. So if there is two equations, you can call equation number one equation number two and equation number two equation number one. It's not going to change the set of solutions. You can also multiply an equation by a constant number. This will not change the set of solutions, but you have to be careful when you multiply an equation, you multiply all the terms by the same constant. And the third one, you can add or subtract a multiple of an equation to another equation and not to itself. So you can subtract or add a multiple of an equation to the other equation, not to itself. Now let's look at an example. So now we're going to do uh, examples of equivalent systems of linear equations. So I start with this one where I have 2x plus y is equal to 4 and 14x minus 3y is equal to 8. And this system is equivalent so that wavy symbol is the equivalent symbol to this system and of course we can see that equation number two did not change this equation is exactly the same as that one but the first equation became 4x plus 2y is equal to 8 and what I did to get there is to take equation 1 became equation 1 multiplied by 2. So I multiplied my equation number 1 by 2. 2 times 2, 4. 2, 2 times 4, 8. So I got a new equation which has the same uh, set of solutions. So my linear system still have the same set of solutions because I did authorized operations number two multiply an equation by a constant for the third one I took the first equation and it did not change but equation number two something happened and what happened is I took equation number two became equation number two minus three times equation number one so i uh, take my 14x here and i minus three times that 4x three times four is 12 of course so i'll have 14 minus 12 which is two then i take that negative three minus three times negative 3 minus 6 is going to be negative 9 and then I do the same thing for my constant here 8 minus 3 times 8 is going to be negative 16 and this is also an equivalent system because I did authorized operation number 3 where you can add or subtract a multiple of an equation to another equation not to the same equation so that's it see you in the next video